From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome, my friends. Welcome and thank you. This is the live Sunday broadcast, the 10th day of January 2010. We're going to be live here for the next two hours. We're going to have wide open phones. I'll give you that phone number in just a moment. I want first-time callers at least in the first hour. I obviously want to get into the fact that they're now announcing that the naked body scanners are to be deployed to the streets of the United States. States as well as England. The Australian uh, airline companies are saying they are against it and that boycotts are forming. Uh, the head of American Airlines has also said that he is against it. And so there's certainly a big backlash. We're having success against these people if we continue to expose them. So I want to go over the latest developments on the naked body scanners coming up in the second hour Today, tonight, depending on the time zone you are joining us in, whether you're listening to us on the AM and FM dial, Global Shortwave, the Internet at InfoWars.com, or PrisonPlanet.com via the streams, uh, or whether you are listening uh, to us uh, later via a podcast or Global Shortwave. So that's coming up in the second hour tonight. Big developments, also some economic developments with what's really happening uh, with our economy here in the United States. The post-industrial uh, United States is the final vestiges of our industrial capacity uh, wane into history by design. But the first big issue I want to cover when we get back from break is Timothy Geithner, the head of the Treasury Department, former Goldman Sachs employee, former head of the New York Federal Reserve branch. He's in trouble. And even mainstream media is talking about criminal indictments. He's being called before Congress. This is a big deal, and we're going to be covering it after the break that's coming up. And uh, people always ask me, who is the New World Order? What is the New World Order? The private central banks are the core of the global government, of the private global government, the unelected, tyrannical global government. And if we identify them as the real source of the economic problems that we have in this country, we can really uh, turn this planet around. So that is coming up after the break today. Then, obviously, the Democrats have been in secret conference committee all week. Uh, completing the version of the Senate and House bill uh, that could conceivably be on Obama's desk sometime next week uh, or the week after that. And uh, Democrats are leaving at the state level, at the federal level, leaving their party. Uh, some Democrats are down more than 30 percentage points in the polls, uh, leadership of the Senate involved in this. But they're still saying they're for the bill. Why? Because they're bought and paid for. They're not here to do what's constitutional. They're not here to do what's right. They're not here to do what their constituents want. They're not here to do what's legal and lawful. A whole bunch of state attorney generals are clearly saying that this health bill isn't just unconstitutional. It's illegal. It's, it's, it's just incredible fraud. And depending on what member of the Senate you have for your state, uh, it was written differently for different states at the federal level. Uh, so you can't have taxation without representation. You can't have unequal weights and measures. Uh, these are just all basic tenets of common law and of our Bill of Rights and Constitution. So that's coming up as well. Uh, the dollar continued its plunge last week. Uh, precious metals, uh, New York gold rises as job data uh, and uh, pressure on the dollar. As we predicted, gold would go down a little bit in late December, but start going back up in January and February. And that is uh, continuing with the trend and what the different analysts said uh, that I really respect here on this radio broadcast. Here's the toll-free number to join us on this Sunday, the 10th day of January 2010, 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. This Geithner AIG scam could end up being as big as Climate Gate in our fight against the New World Order if we use this against them. If we take the opportunity we've got and press it, we've got a chance to mortally wound the private banking syndicate if we take action. We're getting the initiative right now. Stay with us. 
This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator that produces pure drinking water right from the humidity in the air. No, this isn't science fiction. It's very real. I know because I use one every day in my own home, and it's available right now to you. Because you know exactly where your water comes from with Ecola Blue, you'll know what's in your cup. Clean, great-tasting water without all the pollutants. Get your family off the grid today by ordering your own Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator for your home or business. Their best seller, the Ecola Blue 28, produces up to 7 gallons of water water every day. The Ecola Blue 28 is easy to use and economical. Generate your own pure water from the humidity in the air. This system is free of chemicals and uses a multi-stage filtration system including reverse osmosis, carbon filters, and ultraviolet lights. Order now and claim your water independence today by calling Ecola Blue at 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue on the web at www.ecoloblue.com today. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome and thank you for joining us. We are live Sunday, January 10th, 2010. We're going to be live here for the next two hours. Thank you so much for joining us. Coming up later in the hour, I'm going to break down the latest fraud by the Democratic Party and their Republican uh, cohorts uh, in conference committee secretly not letting the public know what they're doing with the House and Senate versions of the health care power grab bill. And it clearly violates the uh, open government rules and multiple federal laws. We're going to be breaking that down and covering it coming up later in the hour. In the second hour, I want to get into the uh, big new developments with the naked body scanners. There's a huge public backlash going on with that right now. All over the United States and Europe, as well as Australia, uh, the major airline chiefs are saying, look, the public doesn't want this. It wouldn't have protected us from the dreaded Christmas Day underwear bomber. The government admits that. Uh, people are already boycotting. It records your naked body. The public is now seeing the actual images of what these machines record, not just what television is showing, blurring out the genitals. Fox News or CNN can't show you what the actual images have because it's pornographic. We have them with advisories. Warning people up at Infowars.com. Clear genitals, clear breast, clear. And you can reverse the negative and see it in color if you like, but it's just as bad in black and white or in the negative image. And as we predicted, the federal government in Europe, the, the EU, England, and the U.S. are all calling for mobile naked body scanners now, driving around scanning you randomly on the street. There's also now a mainstream news article out of the New York Times of all places, admitting that this does radiate you with X-ray type radiation and has links to major scientists uh, openly saying that this could cause cancer. I mean, I'd seen that in scientific journals, but to see it in the New York Times. Uh, but the feds don't care. A bunch of people in the current Homeland Security Administration and the previous one, the former head, Chertoff, uh, is, is is making a bunch of money as a consultant to the companies the government's buying these from. Talk about conflict of interest, but that's par for the course with the corruption uh, we see in this government. And in England, they're trying to pass a law right now in the House of Commons uh, because uh, the London Guardian reports that the naked body scanners going in the airports worldwide violate child porn laws. So get ready to march your family through. In fact, I've seen video on the news and photos of families putting their children in these in the United States. I mean, this is worse than 1984. And uh, now they're talking about brain scanners in the airports. That's in the Associated Press. Here it is. Mind reading systems could change air security. Total quackery. Oh, the machine says this area of your brain is lit up, so you must be a terrorist. I mean, it took decades to disprove lie detectors, show that those were a quackery fraud. Now they're coming out with newfangled machines. And if you're a big defense contractor, it's not enough that... Uh